In this lecture, we will be covering dog type in detail. From the previous lecture, we know that dog type is used to define the document type and HTML version we are going to use in the HTML document. Let's see the background of introducing doc type in HTML. In the starting year of HTML, browser vendors would build new features in whatever way they wanted, due to which web developers had to choose a browser to develop their sites. This means that sites or features created for one browser will not work in another. To handle the situation, W3C, which means World Wide Web Consortium had set the standards for web development. Nowadays, all browser vendors and web developers agree to these standards, due to which web page can work easily in different browser. Now you may be asking, how is this possible? It is possible by using the tag doc type, as it tells the different browser how to handle this web page. And due to this, all web pages look uniform across different browsers. The first part is the declaration part. Let's see a few important points about it. This is the first line of code required in every HTML document. The doc type declaration is an instruction to the web browser about what version of HTML the page is written in. This ensures that the web page is parsed the same way by different web browsers, and it is not case sensitive. Now let's see how HTML is declared in different HTML version. In HTML5, the declaration is simple, and it is declared like this. In older documents, HTML4 or XHTML, the declaration is more complicated because the declaration must refer to a DTD, document type definition. In HTML 4.01, it is declared like this. And in HTML 1.1, it is declared as As of now, HTML 5 is the latest version we will use in our course. Before we end this lecture, you must know the supported browsers are Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari, and Opera browser. In the end, just remember that for HTML5, the declaration is done in this way.